molybdenum is everywhere. It's in water, in the sea, in the rivers, lakes. It's in plants, bacteria, animals. It's everywhere. But at lo quite low concentrations, we talk about concentrations as parts per million. And it's curious that its concentration is so low but it's so important. I think one can say, really without exaggeration, that without molybdenum, life could not have developed and life as we know it today couldn't be sustained. Molybdenum um, is needed to convert nitrogen from the atmosphere into ammonia, and then into compounds, organic compounds, which are essential for life and for bacteria. So molybdenum um, was needed to produce the compounds needed for the bacteria to grow. So as molybdenum worked away, making nitrogen-containing uh, nitrogen substances, so the bacteria grew and as they grew, they made more and more oxygen. So the oxygen increased um, in the atmosphere. And you know, life then developed using oxygen and oxygen-containing substances, of course, plus nitrogen, sulfur, and so on. But it, I, think, I think it's fascinating that um, we can look back all those billions of years and we can see the connection between molybdenum and the development, the evolution of life as we know it.